Hello folks, good news for Springbok fans and hopefully for World Rugby fans and Rugby Union. The World Rugby Disciplinary Committee has reviewed the available information evidence in the allegation against Bongi Ambanambi by Tom Curry of England from the semi-final and determined that there is insufficient evidence to go forward. They have said that if uh, further evidence does appear at some point in the future, they can reopen this. But at this point, uh, South Africa's sole specialist hooker, Bongi Ambanami, is available for the game and has been selected. And I'll cover that in a Springbok lineup live stream here shortly. But Bongi Ambanami is cleared. Now, in their determination, the disciplinary committee, which took nearly a week, this occurred Saturday last week, it's now... Thursday, tomorrow Curry is supposed to play against Argentina in the bronze final. And then Saturday, just two days later, it's South Africa against the All Blacks. Quite a long time to make this decision. In part, apparently it turns out, as some media indicated, apparently uh, the England side and Tom Curry did complain about the same thing happening in 2022 at Twickenham when the All Blacks, or the, when, the, uh, when the, the Springboks beat England 27-13, I think it was. So they raised that issue. Now, going back to that date, there's no way they could apply a sanction against Bungie, even if he committed the offense at that point. The law only gives people 36 hours to make the allegation. However, that information could have exonerated Bungie, so I don't know what they looked at. But the bottom line here is that Bungie Ambanami is cleared to play. There is insufficient evidence to go forward. Now, what I'd like to say about this beyond those facts is the behavior of people has been reprehensible in the attacks supposedly that are occurring against Tom Curry online, the sales sharks team said he's had death threats. I haven't seen any of those things. Uh, no one should be behaving like this. And World Rugby has rightly called out this behavior and the social media attacks against both players by idiots on both sides as inappropriate. And I agree 100%. They are spot on. But what I do have a question about is where is World Rugby on the death threats directed against Kolbis Reinach? When last week after they had defeated France, he received death threats from someone in France, including an image of his son posted on social media, threatening his family. World Rugby, have they been silent on this issue? I haven't seen them forward leaning on this. I've gone back and looked at the messages about it. Perhaps I missed one, I'll allow for that. But they didn't seem to take umbrage when a South African player's life was threatened and their child was threatened. But we're listening to news reports coming out of England from Sail Sharks and from British media that Tom Curry is suffering abuse. I have no doubt that this stupidity is happening on both sides. But World Rugby, World Rugby needs to be consistent when it's concerned about the welfare of players. Anyway, good news for Buck fans. Bungie will be in the lineup, and I'll be with you shortly with a live stream with the Springbok selection and my thoughts on that and where we go on Saturday. Cheers, folks. Thanks for tuning in.